radio show where I pull cards and play all the bangers on Station Head in the description. Hey babes and welcome back to Jazz's Angel Number Tarot. I am super excited for today's video because today we're doing a collaboration with King of Aloha Tarot here on YouTube. I talk about him all the time, okay? We are doing a spread on where is this connection going and the truth of the situation. So we're gonna get into it. And I love King of Aloha Tarot. If you follow me, then you know that. He is gonna help give the tea today. So we're gonna do piles and you'll see who is doing the pile that you choose but before we get started check me out at Etsy in the description below if you'd like your own private tarot reading don't forget to like this video please subscribe to my channel also check out my free radio show it is also in the description and we're just gonna get into it okay pause the video if you need to and you can pick more than one pile we have group one with the Yellowstone group two with the purple stone group three with the pink stone and group four with the clear stone so just take three deep mindful breaths center yourself follow your intuition and then pick the pile or the piles that you're being called to and we're just gonna get started all right if you picked pile one with the yellow stone i am doing your reading today okay where is the connection going and what is the truth of the situation so the card that we have that was under your stone is eggshells uh, the bottom of this card says defensive attitude. So that's getting more into the truth of the situation. The truth of the matter is you feel like you're walking on eggshells. Your person feels like wa they're walking on eggshells or this is something that you guys are feeling mutually. But there's definitely an energy here of wanting to be mindful about the things that you say, not really feeling like you can be completely honest or not feeling like you can be completely yourself with this person. <coughs> oh. <sighs> okay, let's get into it. Oh my goodness. There is a lot going on in this situation that I honestly did not expect. We have twin flame and triangle. So that definitely lets me know this is a very intense connection. Very intense connection. Twin flame, high level soul connection, triangle, other people are involved. This is definitely getting to the truth of the situation. This is what's happening here, whether or not you're aware of it. And I say that because we have secret events and options. So whether or not you're aware of it, aware of it or not, your heart is either somewhere else or this person's heart is somewhere else. And whoever is the person who isn't involved in these secret events, and per and like pursuing other options they're the one who feels like they're walking on eggshells because intuitively it's like they know but they don't have the proof they don't have the details it's like they know but they don't know to where they could present this to someone with the whole cold hard facts so it's just like really tricky and complicated secret events private happenings at the bottom of options it says many different possibilities so there is different ways that this can go and they're you know this person I feel like they're entertaining other options or there's someone who's like trying to cut into your connection, getting in the, in the way of it. And to be honest, this doesn't have to be someone they're romantically interested in. This could be an ex having a hard time letting go. This could be, um, you know, their friends. A lot of people don't want to lose their friends. Like I noticed that I've personally had more issues with like... <clears throat> friends that don't want to share the time of their friend versus like actual third parties personally trying to like ruin something so watch out for them friends too but the last card we have is confidence so this person is obviously feeling like a player feeling like they have options and they love that you know they love that they can kind of feel on top um trusting in yourself is what it says at the bottom of that card now that's also a um message from the universe to trust your intuition um so let's get into where this connection is heading with the tarot group one yeah because listen th there's a decision that has to be made just period <coughs> We have the world in reverse and the three of cups in reverse. So the universe is saying this third party situation, this third party dynamic is not healthy for any sort of buildable future that's going to work out for anyone. So that definitely has to be addressed. We cannot move forward um, this way. 
we cannot move forward with the third party situation and all these other people involved with the world in reverse it's just a situation that can't work out now we have the knight of pentacles in reverse and the two of cups in reverse so this is what you're getting now you're you're feeling your person honestly kind of slipping away from you so i would definitely and this is the beauty of tarot once you know what's going to happen you can change what you do to influence the outcome of what happens so you can essentially change the future once now that you know two of cups in reverse nine of pentacles in reverse honestly i don't feel your person putting in energy to try to fix this i don't i don't see them it's like and yeah i'm hearing too far gone and i'm seeing like you kind of leveling up as well and getting an opportunity in the future so things are definitely going to be changing for the both of you you're going to be leveling up and given opportunities from the universe and then also this person i just honestly see them like really being i don't want to say manipulated because at the end of the day they're choosing to be there but i someone's got a strong hold on them whether it's friends or another romantic connection knight of wands in reverse and the page of cups honestly they'll only ever be able to really offer you a lower level connection their own they will only ever be able to offer you something that is kind of like childish and like you know kitty love puppy love school age type of stuff it's not this is not stable relationship tease and like i said before the beauty of tarot like if you want to change something have that conversation don't walk on eggshells speak your mind because either way the relationship is kind of going towards the end so it's like you might as well speak up and stand up for it um seven of cups in reverse and the two of pentacles that's an energy of this person trying to make it seem like though they don't want anyone else this is this is an energy of someone not fully ever committing to anyone so if that you know if there's anything that may make you feel better it's not like they're going all in with another person they still don't feel um like a thousand percent about any person but they're definitely straddling the fence and you don't deserve to be played with so you know let me pull from this deck today <clears throat> oh you know what no there's an even better deck i forgot i brought out <clears throat> let's get into this one this is the keeping it gucci deck actually by king of aloha tarot this is actually his my sweet love life deck that i used first as well so definitely check him out um his channel is below but he took on some of the piles the other piles in this video so you can see him if you picked any other piles too see if you like them i love him he's a capricorn my direct opposite i'm a cancer so we're like oil and water but somehow we both really like each other so here's this not in a romantic way you know he's no tea <laughs> on a friendship level anyways i know i need to get my stuff together i'm really trying here i just doubt i'll be able to do it in time i can't let you get away i might not ever get a chance like this again i have to plan my next move and go for it this is the truth of the connection where is the connection going honestly i don't feel like it's going anywhere that's going to be able to offer you any sort of long-term anything and that's just me being a thousand percent honest but that can be changed and for two this is exactly what i've been getting this entire spread they want to get their stuff together they don't feel like they'll they'll be able to do it in time they don't feel like they're going to be enough of a man or a woman or a person a partner to offer you anything as soon as you want it and then at the same time they're not letting you get away so they're straddling the fence you know they're not actively working to be a better person yet but they're st they're still keeping you they're still keeping you around so just be mindful of that and hopefully that can help you make your decision as far as what you want to do with this situation um because this is what is seen here so yeah you guys <laughs> that is what i have for you check me out on etsy in the description below if you'd like your own private tarot reading like this video please subscribe to my channel um pick another pile if you want to get read by king of aloha tarot but that is what i have for you today group one and i'll talk to you later what's up everybody i'm joey from king of aloha tarot thank you guys so much for having me over here 
I feel so uh, blessed and honored to be able to do this collab with Jazz. Thank you so much, okay? Today we're gonna be, um, um, I got your second uh, pile. Okay, I got group number two. We're gonna be seeing where this connection is heading and the truth of this connection, okay? So I started us off with some message cards as well, all right? So these are, I got two messages from their higher self, right? And then I also got some love messages for, from them as well. So the first message I got for you guys it says, you're too good to accept anything that is not healthy. You deserve the absolute best, and that's what I want for you, whether it's with me or with somebody else. I want the best for you. Okay, that's nice. That's pretty nice, you guys. It's pretty nice. Okay, and we also have, you have the key to my heart. Regardless if you realize this or not, I do anything for you. I want to make this a reality. Wow, so y'all dealing with a person, okay? Y'all dealing with a person who wants to see you happy regardless, okay? Well, like like the message says, whether it's with them or without them, you know? This is somebody who really wants the best for you. And for me, if I was in a, in a connection with somebody or pursuing something, I'd want somebody to feel that way about me too because it's like, you know somebody genuinely loves you when they when they can say, I wanna see you happy with or without me. You know what I'm saying? That's the kind of vibes that, you know? that we should be looking for too, you know, if that's what you, that's what you went to, you feel me? Now, the next message is, um, I feel so comfortable around you, I can be myself with you. I feel so comfortable around you, I can be myself with you. And I don't trust people easily. Wow, so this person, if you found that your person was holding back a little bit or giving you mixed signals or just hot, being hot and cold, you feel me? Like or you you know that this person y'all might see your person like acting a certain way to somebody else or around a group of people or with their friends and then when they get around you they might clam up a little bit or they might be a little closed off a little or reserved but it's just that this person um probably been through some stuff in the past and they just don't know how to you know they don't it takes them a minute well, i'm picking up it takes them a minute to warm up to people or they even trust people to be able to let them in you know we also have if I can't have you, no one can. I let jealousy get the best of me. Wow, yo. I probably tried to look at these cards before I pulled them, uh, before I got on this camera. If I can't have you, no one can. I let jealousy get the best of me. So it's like, even though this person might not be able to open up and might not be able to express themselves or may, you know, um, I might not feel too comfortable expressing everything that's within their heart, like the depth of it, like that we got went over with these two uh two love messages they get jealous you might find them they might <laughs> i'm getting a whole i'm getting a whole vibe of somebody who um who will get an attitude you'd be like why are you for first they're cool but when some other people come around you interact with them then they get a little attitude you're like what's wrong with you nothing you know like they don't tell you that you know i'm getting that whole type of vibe you know it's kind of like i'm getting the whole like you make them resort back to you know an adolescent or like you know uh how you were when you were in high school or junior high or something like that like you just take all the maturity out of them when somebody else gets your attention because this person i feel and i feel it, it's coming from a good place it's not coming from a like oh a stalker psycho type place it's coming from a place of i really want you i will i want to be with you like like you're mine you're my precious you know you're mine and it's coming from that type of place and not like like i said not like a creepy place now i'm gonna pull some some tarot to see where this connection is heading between you two. Where is this connection heading between these two, please? Ooh, ooh, okay, Cars is flying out, okay. That's why it's flying out. I feel like y'all, you guys got somebody who really wants to, um, they wanna wife you up or they wanna, you know, what's the other thing for men? What's the thing for men? Okay. <laughs> A guy's gonna wife you up. What are they gonna do? What what is a woman gonna do with the man? Is it um husband you up, hubby you up? I don't know. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Like this person wants to, this person wants you. They want you to be in an exclusive connection with them, okay? This person, oh let me let me let me finish shuffling before I I'm telling y'all all the tea, telling y'all the scoop, giving y'all all the juice. Let's go ahead and take it one step at a time, baby. One step at a time. This person, on the bottom of the deck, we got five of wands. This person, 
Now, usually this is like competition and stuff like that. I feel like this person is ready to compete for you. They want to get you, okay? So you guys both uh, see this person moving forward, contacting you, doing, I'm here doing the most. Doing the most for some of you guys, contacting you, asking you out, sending you text messages, jumping in your DMs, you know, trying to, trying to build a bridge. I, if if y'all like got a little distance between you guys, this person is gonna do their best to try to, you know, bring you guys together, all right? This person has their mind made up with magician. They wanna manifest you in their life. They wanna manifest this connection between you two and they wanna, this person is ready to go, okay? I'm hearing full steams ahead. I see that train. I'm, 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 I am see the Hogwarts train just already left platform number. What is it? What is that platform number? Whatever. A Hogwarts train just left the platform and it's heading towards Hogwarts. Your person, your Hogwarts, and your person is coming from London and they headed straight for you, okay? This person wants to, wants to let you know, uh, oh. What did I get? What is that? What is that just came through? They want to let you know how they feel, but at the same time, it may be a little, it may not be what you expect, okay, is what I'm picking up with this person. It, 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 it may be in a roundabout way because this person may have a, a funny way of showing you how they feel, you know? They may not come out and verbalize it, but they're going to show you, okay? That's the kind of vibes that I'm getting, okay? They're going to talk. You may hear them talk. They want to talk about you. Ooh. They may be talking about you to their friends. They may be talking to you a lot. They may, for some of y'all, this person is gonna be texting you a lot. And it's just, like I said, y'all be a little easy on my boy and my girl. Be a, be a little easy on them because I feel like they just feel eager. They want to, they don't want nobody else to scoop you up. You know, that's what I'm getting. They don't want nobody else to scoop you up and come in and take um, what's theirs, okay? Let's see what else we got here. What else we got here? What else we got here for group number two? Honestly, you guys, because we got challenging times. I feel like your person, it's going to take a lot out of them to actually pursue you or show them or show you how they truly feel, okay? Because I feel like this person is not the most expressive type of person, you feel me? They may be a little passionate, but I feel like they, they show it in a different type of way. So it's gonna, it's gonna, if, the, if you see this person doing something out of the ordinary, know that it took a lot for them to do that, okay? Because that, that should be your sign right there, you know? The sign to, that they're actually trying. We got two eights right here. We got moving on, hopeless and helpless, yeah. Your person was in a state of, of feeling hopeless and helpless about the situation, but they're moving on from that. They're moving out of this stagnant energy. They're moving out of like being stuck in their mind, stuck in their, you know, in their head. Like, oh my God, I don't know what I want to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. Da -da -da. Should I say something? I'm scared. Da -da -da. You know, they're moving out of that energy and more so into I'm ready for some action. Time, time for some action. You feel me? They're ready to come in with some action towards you guys. Okay. So... Let's see what's the reality of this uh, connection for you guys. What is the reality? I may need to get a, um, a tarot card for that too. Let's see what we got. Yo, we got karmic completion. Yeah, so I feel like uh, this person, and it could be with you too, because you guys could be mirroring each other. You guys are closing out cycles in your life and moving on to, to, to something that is better for you. You know what I'm saying? I feel like the things that kept you guys blocked, okay, or things that you, past connections that you may have been with, I feel like your person is seeing like, well, damn, you know, this is it. This is a person for me, the vibe that I'm getting. So I got to close these chapters out. I got to close out whatever was uh, keeping me from, you know, expressing myself or moving forward. I got to close all of that stuff out. And now it's time for me to move forward, right? Because we got effort, right? This is your person putting in the effort. They're gonna do their part, but it's, 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 just, it's just gonna be left up to you to whether or not you're gonna do your part or not, okay? But this person is gonna get getting ready or will be putting in effort towards you. They want to see something pop off between you guys. You feel me? They wanna see something pop off. We got financial discipline. So this person could even be saving money up to take you out on dates, go on trips, right? I feel like 
when it comes to this connection, this person is going to be disciplined, um, disciplined when it comes to putting in the effort towards you, right? To before where they might not have been doing it, doing much, you know, or they might not have been like letting you know how they truly felt, or they may not have been doing enough in your eyes, but now they will be doing enough, right? They'll, will, they'll will be putting in that work that they need to put in towards you. Now, let me go ahead and pull you guys an advice moving forward for yourself with this connection. Let me pull something from this notebook oracle. Okay. Okay, you got life. It says life may not always be fair, but you have to be an adult and accept things that cannot be changed. Uh, that's half of the battle, acceptance. Yeah, so it's telling you to go with the flow. Sometimes like, let's say when you come across people, you might want them to act a certain way or to be a certain way, but sometimes, you know, we got different love languages and whatnot, and you have to, you have to go with the flow. That's all, that's, that's what I'm getting with this one, all right? So that's what I got for you guys for this group. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel as well. If you're feeling me, come over and visit me at King of Aloha Tarot. We'd love to have you over there as well. And much love and light to everybody out there. Take care. Ciao. All right, group three with the pink stone. If you picked pile three, then I am doing your reading today. But if you picked any other pile, King of Aloha Tarot has got you. Um, but yeah, actually I did one other one, but it's a secret. Um, so we're going to get right into it, okay? What is the truth of your connection and where is it heading? What are the possibilities? So the first card that we have that was under your card is distrust. At the bottom of this card, it says unreliability and love. So that's getting into the truth of the connection and what's actually going on here. It's seeming like this person is being unreliable. You can't fully trust them yet. Now, I will say that could be because you just don't know this person very much yet. Um, <clears throat> but also... Tapping in feels like there may be something there. Like there was there was a red flag, like something that occurred or something that they did made you kind of like, was that what I think that was? Or <laughs> it just kind of made you question. So let's let's keep going. Let's see what's going on. <clears throat> Where is the connection headed? Okay, and the truth. Wow. Yeah, your person, I don't know whether or not you know this, but they have a lot of baggage. They do. We have baggage and unrequited love. It's like one of those situations where it's like, you can't love someone else until you love yourself. That's the tease that I'm getting from this person. Baggage, leftovers from past connections. They have not go gotten over, I'm hearing their first heartbreak. I heard that. They have not gotten over their first heartbreak. That's the one that did them in. And if you've had deep conversations with this person, then you probably know that to some degree. But we also have unrequited love, one-sided affections. So this is like you wondering like, will this situation ever be mutual? Like, it's not that they don't have mutual feelings, but it's like, will it ever feel mutual? Like, will they ever show it? You're kind of doubtful and questioning whether this is worth your time. Well, this person was definitely put in your life for a reason, we'll say that. Ooh, we have karmic and preparing. So the universe is trying to kind of crack them open and show them that there are options out there for them and show them that, you know, there is someone out there who is interested in being with them and someone who has the capacity to love them genuinely. The universe is essentially showing them love still exists. This person is not your ex, but your person is having a really hard time with this. Um, karmic, intense lessons in love, preparing, doing inner work. So this situation, like I said, definitely happened for a reason, or you two met for a reason, and um, you were put in their path to prepare them for something long term and vice versa, and you can be that for each other, but it's just a matter of both people being willing to 
open up to each other yeah we got the intimacy card that just came out now i'm getting two different things with this for one if you're giving your person intimately like physically to this person definitely pull that back because if that's the only time you feel like you should connect with them that's a red flag that's not normal and that's not how it should be so don't hold on to that because it's the only thing you have because that's the only thing you will ever have if that's the foundation you build with this person um and then also i'm getting intimacy more in a vulnerability kind of light where it's like a message of there's definitely struggles with being intimate and open and vulnerable with each other you know i've had you know intimate conversations like have you ever heard of that intimate conversations it's not like pillow talk it's intimate conversations where you're opening up to each other and being vulnerable so let's get into the tarot so we can see where the connection is heading where is the connection heading are so quiet like that makes me nervous here we go Ugh, I keep getting this duality with you guys it could go one or two ways it's like I'm getting this this message where it's like you could either both destroy each other or you could end up like Bonnie and Clyde fighting through life together <clears throat> really passionate connection but we have the five of swords here so it's like everyone against each other or us against each other, you know, like we can absolutely destroy each other or, you know, we can team up and we can do this together. <clears throat> but either way, to be honest, it still gives me like a toxic kind of energy. It does. Um, hmm. What does group three need to know about this connection? Where is it headed? Okay, that's good. We, uh, it's a blessing and a curse. It's definitely a karmic situation. There is some healing that will happen, but um, yeah, we got the hermit card and the three of swords in reverse. The healing is going to come over time. The healing is going to come after everything has kind of been processed. Um, in the relationship we have the sun in reverse and the six of swords so this person was put into your life so that you can learn certain lessons from them but i don't feel like this connection is headed towards long term exactly five of pentacles in reverse page of pentacles in reverse both parties are not equally invested both parties don't want it as bad well it's not that they don't want it as bad but both people are not willing to put in the work and you're already sitting here kind of wondering like is this going to be worth it you can already feel that i'm using the keeping it gucci deck also by king aloha here on tarot i just really love or here on tarot here on youtube i really love his decks and his work so let's see Here's the two cards I got for you. I got for you, and I'm surprised. I'm actually glad I pulled from this deck because the, this is the keeping a Gucci deck. Like it's it's straight up. There's no like fluff. But we have. Let's take this one day at a time. We can get through any differences that we have between each other. A really sweet message. So there's still faith here. There's still hope. Um, I may not have accomplished all that you have or can afford what you can, but I can give you all the love you need sincerely. So it's like this person feels it. They really do. They want to be the person that you want them to be so bad. But the truth of the matter is they have baggage from a previous relationship. You have to work through your baggage or you are not going to have anything to offer anyone moving forward. And that's where you are with this person. So it's just like, it's really tricky. 
but that's the truth of the connection you know there's there's possibilities the door isn't completely closed but um you know this person is gonna have to work for it so what i would advise honestly is i would take some some time away from them give them some distance and and let them really feel the lack of your presence and also i wouldn't be being intimate with this person because that's just a crutch you know for them and a band-aid to make you guys feel like you have some sort of connection that just isn't there because you're not being vulnerable with each other you may be vulnerable with them but they're not being vulnerable with you don't allow them to breadcrumb you and don't convince yourself that their breadcrumbs are a full meal and that it's making you feel full because it isn't um and yeah that's what i have for you guys this got really intense check me out on etsy in the description below if you'd like your own private tarot reading like this video please subscribe to my channel also check out my free radio show in the description pick another pile so that you can get read by king of aloha um tarot and also i'm gonna link his channel below and that was your pile i'll talk to you later all right you guys i'm joy from king of aloha tarot we're gonna be seeing where your connection is heading and what's the truth of this connection you know so i got you guys uh, started off with some love messages we got a love message from their higher self and then we got some additional love messages for you guys okay the first one i have here is yes i know i took you for granted in the past i may have even broken your heart or left you for someone new I'm all over that now and I would like another chance. So for some of you guys, this is somebody who you may have had a connection with in the past, who you may have had a crush with, or who you could have had a full-fledged uh, relationship with and you guys are getting back together. So it says to that person, like, they're finally realizing, you know, the area of their ways, you know? I mean, I know sometimes we'll be like, you know, you, you pick somebody else over me, I don't want you back, whatever, but sometimes people do realize the error of their ways and things turn around for you, okay? Um, we also have, you're the one that got away. I can't believe I let you slip through my hands. Sometimes when I think about it, I feel so stupid. What a fool. Okay, yeah, so for you guys, this person is feeling like, you know, that they let an opportunity pass them by. And I feel like for this person, I, I, I'm feeling a sense of urgency um, to where they have to, they feel like they had a, you know, their last chance has come around or they gotta try one last time to really see, you know, um, or really try in this situation, you feel me? That's if you had somebody um, that you were connected to in the past, you know, whether it was just strictly platonic or whether it was romantic, you know? But whatever it is, this person is ready to come back and try or ready to try with you guys, okay? We have, you intimidate me. I idolize you so much, you're out of my league. Mm. This person, y'all, I don't know what y'all are doing. Y'all must be like, hot y'all sizzling over there you feel me like you guys like you y'all got something about yourself to where this person has you up on a pedestal and they feel like uh that they might have they might not be able to reach you you know what i'm saying or they may they may have to do a little uh they don't know if they're gonna be able to fill your order you feel me like whatever it is that you acquire from them they feel like you might not they might not even be able to to live up to your expectations and that could be a if this, for some of you guys, for the ones of you guys who, is, if it's somebody from your past, that could be a reason why they went in another direction because they, they felt like they weren't good enough, okay? I feel like this person may have been dealing with a little insecurities when it, when it came to you. They may have been confident when it came to other people, but when it came to you, they may have had a little, you know, insecurities because they had you up on this high pedestal and they felt like they wouldn't be able to, to reach you, you feel me? Uh, we have, I feel a strong connection with you. I feel a strong connection with you. Yeah, so your person, I feel like even when you guys are not together or even if you, when you weren't together, because I feel like it's, it might be different groups, right? And for some of you guys, it might be somebody from the past. For some of you guys, it may have been somebody from the past that you were with or you just had a crush on and it just didn't pan out. Or for some of you guys, it might be a brand new person that you're dealing with, okay? Either way, this person feels a strong connection with you. I feel like this person may even... Uh, dream about you you know you may even have started appearing in this person's dreams um, when they go about their day when they're at work when they're at school when they're doing their you know uh, going about their business running errands or whatever they, they pop into their mind I feel like this person may even I'm gonna pick up the vibe for some of you guys that the, your person 
when you are near, they may even feel you. You feel me? Some of you guys might even feel this person as well. Like, you know when this person's pulling up, or you know when they're around the corner, or you know when they're in the building, you know? Like, you can feel the vibes. I feel like there's a, a strong spiritual connection between you guys. There's a strong magnetic um, uh, energy that I'm, that I'm hearing that pulls you guys together. So... Even if you were to split apart, that you would somehow come back together. That's the kind of vibe that I'm picking up with you guys. It says, I can't seem to be myself in front of you. So yeah, your person feels intimidated. They feel, and I feel like a part of that intimidation is is the vibes. It's, part, it's partially the vibes that they feel from you, emanating from you. Um, and it, or it could be just like the both of you, your vibes like coming together. They're so strong. And they're so like, I'm feeling like it's a it's a perfect match or the physical attraction is so high or that magnetism is so high between you guys that, you know, it just makes them like, oh my God, like I never felt something like this before. I don't know what to do with it now, you know? Um, or even I don't want to mess it up is what I'm picking up also too. So let's go ahead and pull some tarot cards to see where this connection is heading. Where is the connection heading for this group, please? See what we got. Not too many. Interesting. Interesting. All right, you guys. First card out was Four of Swords. So you guys might be on a break right now. This might be somebody who you're asking about, who you're not really in contact with for some of you guys. For some of you guys, if you are in contact with this person, there may be a little break coming up um, for you guys. And I feel like this break is needed so that things can be put into perspective. You feel me? Or people could realize or come to have their judgment moments to figure out what it is that they really want within this connection. And it could be for you also, but uh, just, just it just depends on where you are on that timeline, okay? I feel like there's a new start with the full energy coming up here. There's a brand new start, you know, uh, that's coming up for you guys. Um, this person wants to try it again. If at first you don't succeed, Dust yourself off and try it again. That's what I'm hearing. You can dust it off and try it again. Try it again. That, that, yo, that is specifically for somebody who, if this is somebody from your past, this person is like, you know what? I didn't succeed the first time around. Now I want to dust myself off and I want to come back around and see where this could go and see what could happen from it, okay? I feel like somebody's up in their head though, right? With the five of swords and the seven of swords, somebody's up in their head and hiding their true feelings. I feel like this person might come around and be, what's coming through here strongly is this intimidation factor, right? This person may still feel intimidated when they come to you. I don't feel like this person's uh, self-confidence has, has improved, you know, uh, between whatever time you were talking to them and now. I don't feel like it's improving, you feel me? I feel like this person is still intimidated by you, but I feel like you know, it's not necessarily a bad thing. It just shows you how much this person feels for you. You know, they, how they, how much they want you. I feel like this person wants you so bad that they feel like, you know, they don't know how to do it. For some of you guys, some of these people might even be trying to wait, trying to get you to confess first, okay? trying to get you to speak first and while they keep themselves, they keep their feelings under wraps and safe because they may have a fear of rejection as well, okay? I'm getting that whole game plan kind of vibe, but it's not like a game plan to where I'm gonna hurt you. It's like, oh no, I'm gonna let her or him uh, uh, be the first one to confess or, or be the first one to call or first one to da da da, whatever, you know? It's, I'm getting that kind of vibe while they're keeping their feelings hidden. Hopefully they, um, I feel like once you get past this phase, that things are gonna change because we got six of wands on the bottom of the deck. 
So you got, guys are headed for some sort of victory, some sort of something that works for the both of you. I feel like people would need to get out of this energy of, no, you say it first. No, you say it first. No, you talk to me first. No, you text me first. No, you. No, you. No, you. As soon as y'all get out of that kind of, you know, back and forth, that kind of game plan, you know, that kind of stuff, that tug of war kind of thing going on, I feel like, you know, it's headed for something awesome, you know, with the six of, six of wands, you know, people getting over their, uh, what do you call it, their uh, intimidations and stuff like that and seeing where this could like where this could go, you feel me? Let's see what else we got here for you guys. What else do we have? What else do we have? Let's see. Y'all never mind me, it's getting kind of late for me. <laughs> no, 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 never mind me. Cause I be getting goofy as hell when it's like, when it gets late. Y'all know that's on the freaks come out at night. I'm not saying I'm, that's me. I'm just saying, you know, like I get kind of goofy from that time. Ooh, all snap, all snap. We got love, okay? We got love and we got manifestation, baby. And it's the wrong, yo, yeah. Look, this deck, this card belongs in the other deck, the numerology deck, and it was in this deck, so this was definitely meant for you guys. You can't make this stuff up, people. So yeah. This person is trying to manifest, is working to manifest you. In the other group that I did, that was manifesting too. Yeah, you guys are doing something right here, okay? Whatever you're doing, whatever energy work you're doing, keep it up because this person is manifesting and they're going to do whatever they need to do to bring you guys together because we got love. You guys are coming together, right? So whatever intimidations or whatever is gonna be it's gonna be conquered. Whatever that obstacle is, it's gonna you're gonna move past that, right? And then we look. We got here, right here. Reach out. So I feel like your person. I don't know what what the hell kind of miracle was gonna happen. I don't know if if, if, if spirit came down and slapped some sense into this person and say, look, you gotta you gotta do something. Like you can't keep going how you're going. You cannot keep on staying on the same like path. If you want to see some results, you have to man up. You got a woman up or whatever, and you have to really tell this person how you really feel or approach them and try to see what, what, what's, what's popping, you feel me? But that's exactly what I see that's gonna happen. This person is working to manifest this, and that's exactly what's gonna happen within this connection. It's gonna be manifested. This person is gonna, it's a, I see a union, a union for you guys, right? Somebody reaching out, making that call, sending that text message, jumping into the DMs, you feel me? I see that happening for you guys. I think I went over y'all be talking too much. Y'all be, be trying to like, I'm gonna keep this reading on this certain amount, certain thing, and I'll just be keep talking. The spirit comes through, spirit be coming through. Let me get you y'all a message so I can stop talking. You know what I'm saying? Y'all like, get, get it over with, baby. Get it over with. Let's see what we got here. What advice do we have for this group, please? Okay. So it says, Issues, don't let other people's bad habits, hangups, low self-esteem or demons bring you down. Just because they have issues they refuse to deal with doesn't mean you have to stick around and suffer with them. Leave people to deal with their own issues and maintain your center and peace of mind. Y'all might be dealing with some interference around you guys, right? Uh, Spirit is telling you guys to make sure that you separate yourself from other people's issues and their energy from yours. You guys could also be empaths too. You know, just a side note, y'all could be empaths and I'm hearing, don't let anybody else's energy affect you, right? Because y'all got a job to do. You do your own job. You feel me? Let them do their job. Uh, we have God or Goddess. It says, if you are God or, God, God or Goddess, don't settle for something or someone who is still operating on the lower levels. Although there may be potential, the energy, strength, and time it may take to level the playing field may cost your dignity, self-respect, and peace of mind. Is the price worth it? So what I'm getting from this overall is that even if you feel like this, you you know how this person feels and you want to help them, let them do their work, okay? You gotta let people work out their own issues, their own, they're scared. You gotta let them work through their own fear to come towards you, okay? That's loud and clear. But that's what I got for you guys. If you like it, like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you're interested in you know, checking your boy out, you can hit me up over on King of Aloha Tarot. Thank you guys so much for having me here. Ciao. Take care. Much love and light.
All right, guys, that is what we have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this collaboration. Like I said before, King of Aloha Tarot is also here on YouTube. You can check out his channel. It will be linked below. But that is what we have for you today. I love you. Be careful what you wish for. And I will see you in the next one. Tune into my radio show where I pull cards and play all the bangers on Station Head in the description.